Hello, I'm Mark from Super Simple 365. In this short video, I'm going to show you how Copilot can help you with your Teams meetings. I've got four scenarios and I'll tell you about them before each one starts. Before I do start though, I want to just tell you that these are demo videos from uh, Microsoft. I've taken bits of it, which I think will be most useful to you and put them all together. Make sure you go to the video notes and have a look at the original videos to make sure that people who created them get uh, the views as well. That's really important to me. But from now, let's make a start. Okay, so to start off with, we are going to be late for a meeting and Copilot's gonna be used inside that meeting. We're gonna see a mix of suggested and typed prompts. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start by looking at this situation. We've joined the meeting late and Copilot has a couple of suggestions for me. One of them is recap this meeting so far. So let's click on this and see what we get. I have three suggested, I have three bullet points, each of which has a reference for me to click and read the source transcript if I need to. I can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down and I can copy the main points to my clipboard. Now, if I want to, I can click a suggested prompt or I can type my own. In this case, how does the group feel about the inventory status? The answer splits out the positives and negatives in a summary along with a reference for me to check if I need to. Finally, why don't we try the suggested prompt? What questions are unresolved? This is interesting because Copilot must interpret what's been said, what comments were made, and work out which ones were questions, and then check if they've been answered. This time, the list has outstanding questions, shows an explanation as to why it's showing that thing, and then some suggested outcomes. Again, I can check references and copy the questions for pasting somewhere else if I need to. So this is how Copilot can help you getting up to speed uh, with a meeting that's already started. And next up, we've got during a meeting. So Copilot is gonna be used this time inside the meeting. We have a typed prompt and we're about to get started. So we've managed to get to this meeting on time. Let's see what Copilot is telling us in the top right corner. So it's telling us that it can handle the busy work. So some of the basic tasks. It's reminding you to check the facts and the details can't really be trusted. And it's telling you that this anything you type is between you and Copilot. Okay, let's go to the bottom and say, what questions can the group ask to generate more ideas? Maybe we need to just liven up this meeting a little bit. We have suggested questions to kick off new ideas. We have references, should you want to know why it's suggesting them. Uh, while we're zoomed in, have a look at the two suggested prompts, recap the meeting so far, and list action items. This is great for making sure that you've covered everything and knowing who is doing what. This could also be used after the meeting as well. We're now going to have about two short examples after a meeting. We're going to start from the meeting chat and from Copilot in chat. Suggested and typed prompts. And the typed prompt is going to include some prompted formatting. So I'm going to be quite specific about what I want. Let's catch up with a chat from a recurring meeting. So we've been off for a little while and we want Copilot to help us out. We want more help this time, so we're going to click on more prompts. We're gonna say that we'd like highlights from the last seven days. And look at this, it has produced them. Now maybe this second point is of particular interest to me. So I can click on that reference at number two and I can go and see what was said. It takes me to the original chat and it highlights it in red so I can see what was said. So there you go, within 30 seconds, I've got caught up with what happened on that meeting. In the second example, we're gonna use our own prompt. Look how helpful uh, Copilot's trying to be there. There's all those prompts on the screen and, and, and ways of starting. But I'm going to say, what are the key topics from the, I'm gonna put a forward slash, and then I select a certain meeting. I'm specific and I say, format each section with bolded headings, a bulleted list, and bolded names. So let's see what it produces. So the output is really well organized, but this is because I've prompted, it shows prompting is going to be really, really important. The more you learn about prompting, uh, the more you're gonna get out. So I can just copy this now and paste it and do what I need to do with it. This would be an amazing way to catch up on meetings that you've missed, or just a way to skip a few meetings and get some time back without dropping out of the loop. 
Okay, so the co-pilot part of this is going to be after the meeting, although we have to do something before the meeting as well. We're going to use a mix of Teams Premium and Copilot. We're going to start in Outlook, then we'll be taken to the Teams activity feed, and then we'll see the meeting recap, and we're going to use prompt uh, typed prompts. Okay, so let's say I'm a PA, and there's a meeting I'm not attending, but maybe I need to write it up. Here's a great option. In Outlook, I'm going to click on Follow. Then after the meeting, I open Teams, and the activity feed shows there's a meeting recap available to me. It shows content that was shared, topics covered, uh, summarized notes, and tasks for myself and others. Now look at this one here. If this catches my eye, I can then interrogate Copilot by asking for more detail. So I can ask why a decision decision was made. Uh, if maybe I'm, I'm not sure that everything that I want is in this summary, I can ask it uh, what else was covered. So in this case, what other solutions uh, were discussed, and it gives me a, a recap of that as well. And if I want to go and double check anything, I can go back over to the transcript and look at that. I can see it right on the screen from, from where I am. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Just a quick taster of a few things that Copilot could do, just this tiny sliver. So I was just looking at uh, using it to, to catch up with a meeting and then keep up with a meeting and maybe engage during a meeting as well. That's just a tiny sliver of what it can do. But I just wanted to just show uh, Copilot uh, and Teams just from the meeting uh, and meeting chat point of view. Hopefully that's helpful. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe and go and read the blog as well.